evening ladies and gents as you are coming in um if you can see my screen and you can hear my voice please do raise your hand in the zoom application so that i know that we're in business dave thank you very much hands coming quite a lot um evening ladies and gents is the 22nd of september 2021 uh i am Bande. as we all know simon is enjoying the beach out in durban um, kicking it off with uh, some of the closed positions uh, from last week. Let me just call. So I got stopped on a, I got stopped quite a bit last week. Um, I got stopped on Xaro. It looked like it was done with with that move. It looking like it was breaking out. Um, looks like it was a false break coming back right uh, back into into the range. Uh, but if it it breaks back above that 185 level i'll jump back into the trade um i think i was caught by x div again uh I, th- I might be i might be incorrect but i think i was caught by x div again um i seem to remember catching that x div was on the 29th if there's anyone that has that info it can help us in the q a or the chat box um i also got stopped on uh glenco uh that candle there took me out i had my stop just below um those those there that candle took me out um sasso also got stopped on sasso uh, i suppose i was a little bit i was a bit too aggressive on that stop lo- on that stop but once it gets w- break above that high of that candle there which is 250.91 so if you can get it close above 250.91 251 wait what is it is it yeah above 250.91 um if you can close above 250.91 um i'll add to my uh, i'll rebuild this position rather than with a stop loss just below um if i bring back that 50 day exponential moving average of note that it's just below there um around that 240 level um it's a trade that i'm liking quite a bit um it's a trade that has quite a bit of legs um of course um sasol is is run a different company that it was a couple of years a few years ago um so if we can close back above that um 200 week exponential moving average i think we could see the stock really really starts to run after they um you know started fixing their balance sheet and they they did escape the um, rights issue as well i got stopped on friday on epsa uh yeah looks like that was a, a false break there so if it breaks back above that 145 level a rebuild it position with a stop loss just below bring back that there just below those lows there around that 136 level uh I also got stopped on Thursday uh, on Growth Point. Uh, it's been going, it's been pretty much sideways, and I don't think it's going to do anything special below that 1573 level. So I'm just going to wait for, for a close back above that 1573 level to, to, to rebuild this position. Um, yeah, property, property is just having a tough time at the minute. But a, a, a couple of, of, of property stocks look um, looking like they're starting to recover. Um, growth point being one, uh, uh, notwithstanding the sell-off of a couple of weeks ago. Um, Napiro Castle as well, looking like uh, you know it's it's ready to run as well. But we'll see, we'll see in time. I also got stopped on um, SAP. I, th- I believe that's the last one. Um, Yep, just violated that support there. Uh, but it looks like it wants to come back above it. But I'll wait for a close back above that 44, uh, just call it 45 rand. So I'm going to wait for a close above 45 rand on SAPI. Now let's have a quick gander at uh, my open positions. And guys, if you have a chat request uh, or you have a question, feel free to pop it up on the Q&A box on the, or the chat box. You don't have to wait till the end. And if it's not time sensitive, I'll... Uh, um, I'll park it to the end, but if it is, uh, I'll just answer it on the chart that I will, uh, I'm looking at at that point in time. Uh, I spent I spent it looking quite quite lacquer. Um, it's looking quite good, man. I did, I did catch it as it was breaking out of that long term base there, 
um if it's that was a nice break out there so now that's there's an area if, if you if you go back um so this area around 240 and 245 had been an area of memory the, a, a, a level that the mar the market uh, uh, remembered quite a bit uh for, for 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 some time for a good between 2013 and 2018 that that uh this level between 245 and 250 had been a a a a a, uh, um, a strong support that that you know the protecting that price until you know it, it got cracked open and then all system was go but now we're back at the at these levels again look like looking like the market is starting to remember um those levels again but i think above if you can break through <coughs> excuse me it can break through that uh 275 level it's all systems go to 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 um to those old time uh to those prior highs around that uh 440 level around that uh 440 um level but looking quite lacquer looking quite lacquer but we'll see in time and um they did fix the balance sheet the debt levels has reduced quite significantly and uh, um, they did that the avoiding a rights issue as well so you know, um, looking quite uh, looking like a gem looking like a gem so I, d I did also get dividends um, uh, from 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 the company I added to the position earlier this morning as it was breaking above that 240 level um, uh, on, on Aspen uh actually guys if you go check out the i wrote a full analysis on aspen and also on astral food on the village trader website if you can just go there um there's a jse stock analysis uh, um tab there if you go there um I, I go into 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 much detail and I, I go into much much longer term view on 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 on, on some stocks here and i also write a, 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 a quite a dope piece on um so quite a good analysis on 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 astral foods and just looking at at, at that long term picture, um, and I think if we can get through that two twenty level, um, we could just as easily get through to 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 the three hundred or back to 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 those highs. And if you think about uh, um, the 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 COVID grants, that it plays well into 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 um, in, into 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 this stock because you know <coughs> when people go into shop rights to purchase food. They will be purchasing some of some of Astro Foods products, so looking quite um, looking quite good, looking quite good. Uh, notwithstanding the um, uh, having a tough time uh, with with um, um, uh, uh, with with input costs, um, the yeah, the maize prices. But the maize prices um, in the futures market looking uh, uh, looking like uh, lo looking quite good. Uh, looking maize prices looking like they start to 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 drop there um next is avi um <laughs> the so i was waiting for if you if you zoom back out there there's a, a nice strong trend line there which started to break i was waiting for a breakthrough that 80 rand level but it just kept kept and drove um drove higher um so they, they put up a trading update not um guys someone's saying there's no sound if if everyone can't hear me please let me know um so that i'm sure that uh if you can hear me uh, if, uh please guys uh use the q a box or the chat box just to let me know that um, the the audio is coming out well Ah, so anonymous. I think there might be a problem with your device. Um, you can check the audio settings there, um, on the Zoom application. Maybe your 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 audio settings aren't uh, set correctly. Um, and thank you very much, uh, uh, Robert. So AVI came up with with a a a a, a trading update. Um, and it didn't say much. Um, uh, I think there's a potential uh, buyer. Um by the words of 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 the trading updates um sounds like there's a potential buyer they're in negotiations with with the buyer but they didn't say anything much and the the, the, the stock reacted with quite aggressively so i'm suspecting a potential buyer but um i'll be trading as if that uh, um that sense announcement doesn't exist because it didn't say much um so i'm waiting for a close back above that um that 9178 level if 
I go back a little bit back in time, that was a strong area of resistance there. So if we can close back above um, uh, 9178, I'll add to the position again at above 95 Rand. I'll add to my position and build up the position on the way higher. Capitec forming a nice ascending triangle continuation pattern there. Um, so I'm waiting for a close through that 19, what is it, what is it? Let's get the exact number, 1908. Uh, close above this candle here, which is 1908.48, call it 1908.50. So if you can get, get a close through that, um, I'll raise my stop to around that 1819 level uh, but i would not be uh, um, adding to the position as yet because for some reason fact markets doesn't allow me to trade um fractionals on on capitec so i just uh, when i'm whenever i'm adding to my position on capitec i'm adding one lot at a time so uh, rich is asking if avi was on my watch list and how do i know which stocks to look at Good question. Good question. So AVI, let me go back to 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 AVI. AVI was on my watch list. Uh, let me go back to a weekly chart. Uh, cool. So I was watching closely a break above um, that seventy eight rand level. As you can see, the stock is coming quite aggressively and starting to break through that. Uh, downtrend line uh, uh, um, and staying on the others on the right side of the downtrend line breaking about that 50 50 week exponential moving average and um, when I jump into 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 the the, the uh, into 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 uh, into the daily chart um, and you look at 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 at, 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 at that level around that uh, let me just delete that rather at, at, at that 78 rand level it's, it, it was quite quite a good support but I wanted a new high close because you know the stock has been sideways for 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 quite a bit, and I figured it's not going to do anything special below that level there. And <coughs> what brings a stock into my watch list is the fact that the 50-day exponential moving average trade um, it moves above the the 200-day exponential moving average. Once we have the golden cross there, I start to get interested into the stock. Then I look for a level where once that level is taken out there's a high probability that the, the, the stock will run further. And that then I look for, for a level that um, I'm convinced that uh, if, 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 uh, if my, my entry level is hit, there's a good probability that my uh, that level, the low of that candle will not be hit, and that's where I put my stop. So 50 day, uh, being above 200 day, puts me puts, puts a stock on my watch list, and then I look for, um, for, for, for price action. So Herman is asking, can I explain the Aspen X div, which was in yesterday payment date? Ah, so <coughs> Herman is asking. Uh, so X div on Aspen was yesterday on the twenty first of of September, but the payment date was sh is scheduled to the twenty seventh of um, September. But the div I got the dividends on X div, so that's how Think Markets operates. Um, so operates pay um, think markets pays a dividend on X Dev. So once you have a share on X Dev, they just pay the dividend. They don't wait for um, they don't wait for for uh, for the payment date to 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 accrue the dividend to you. So you get you get the dividend on X Dev. So that is why the uh, the Aspen dividend came in quite early. And where were we? We'll just put this look at clicks. Clicks, uh, it, it was moving into 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 a higher box, so I added to to my position earlier this morning. Um, coming back to to, to 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 test the doors of the lower box, but uh, not by very much. And my stop is a fair bit away, and. And that's simply because I, when 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 I find a, a winning position, I like to give it a little bit more room to to, uh, uh, for for for, uh, for pullbacks, ten percent, twenty percent pullbacks. So yeah, kept uh, clicks looking quite quite like a jam. So now I'll just be waiting for a close 
through that 320 level but that's quite a fair distance away but we'll see the price action within that box to see if i can't i won't be adding to to because my stop loss is quite a fair bit of distance away um so i'll see if i can't uh based on the price action um, I'll see if I can't add to my position and raise my stop loss to around that 298 level. Uh, but for now, I'm comfortable where my stop loss is. Um, coronation. So typically a symmetrical triangle, excuse me, typically a symmetrical triangle pattern is a, is a, a, a continuation pattern. Um, so what should have happened um, as, the, as the stock is coming back, uh, coming down, uh, forming that symmetrical triangle pattern is supposed to break out on the downside two thirds. And, and one of the, the, the important rules about the symmetrical triangle pattern is that the breakout needs to happen two thirds on the way in. So the breakout was supposed to happen around this area here. Uh, and once that breakout doesn't happen, the likelihood is that the breakout will happen on the reverse so that's um, the same symmetrical triangle pattern becomes a reversal pattern which was the case um, on coronation which makes the coronation a little bit bullish and you know support that that that's always supported by the stock holding that 200 day and 50 day exponential moving average and not letting it go every time it get violated it, it just comes back in and that range got tighter and tighter as as, as uh, um, yeah, uh, 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 as the stock makes um, a lower highs. Um, so yeah, I'm waiting for a close back above that 52 uh, 50 level, which is a close back above those highs there, um, after which um, I'll wait for a close through 56. And I think once you get above 56, we'll really s start to see the stock run. But um, it's, it's, it's gonna take a fair bit of time before we can get to those levels. Distal proving to be a uh, uh, um, proving to to distal proving to be a gift that keeps on giving. Um, we had a bullish engulfing candle that breaks out out of that consolidation range day uh, uh, yesterday, and I added to my position. Um, if you remember, I, I did mention that um, I'll only add to my position once my stop loss was above that last price, uh, which was that one there. And I raised my stop to that 172.10. I now think my profit on this trade was sitting at about, I think it was, a, if anyone is looking at the journal, um, profit is sitting at about 60 odd percent. Yeah, I'm at a 60% 60, 60 return here on this position. Uh, come back here. Um, so yeah broke out there and there's still that p uh, possibility of 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 um uh, of 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 that heineken deal was still there's still uncertainty there and you know price is moving high and maybe the, the market is believing that uh, is believing is believing um that 200 235 um offers that uh, um, that people could throw around in the market but for now that's that's uh, for me that's neither here nor there trade as if that event um doesn't exist as you can see, moving to a higher box. <coughs> so now I will just wait for a close through. I wait for a close through that uh, what top of that higher box, up, up, close above that uh, 90, 190 level. At which point I'll raise my stop and add to my and and, and probably add to my position. If my if I can get my stop to be at, at least around that 180 184 level um, just above but I did add a five percent risk on on on, on this trade first rent also uh, making higher lows uh, came bitterly close to that 50 day exponential moving average I'm just waiting for a close back above that 61 rent level at which point I'll add it to my position and raise my stop to just below those lows um, just below that 50 day exponential moving average around that 58 40 level um, somewhere there's about um, look the banks are looking quite healthy at the moment the banks are looking quite healthy and looking like they want to 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 um, they want to move um, first round looking quite good capital looking fairly decent net bank also looking quite good we'll get to net bank in a moment 
Uh, but yeah, our banks are looking quite healthy at the minute. Our banks are looking quite healthy at the minute. And, and I think the lifting of that, 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 that dividend reservation um, is, helping, is helping the price move uh, quite a bit. Investec coming back into, into, into that higher box. It did come back to test the lower box, holding that 50-day exponential moving average. It came bitterly, bitterly close from stopping me. I was actually deep believed that I was going to get stopped in this position. But uh, surprise, surprise, I wasn't. Um, so I'm waiting for close through that 62 rand level, but I will monitor how that 61.55 level, uh, uh, how the how the market treats that 61.55 level. If if uh, if again, um, that level is remembered and the 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 the, 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 the price reacts, um, I'll wait for a close through that 61.55. But for now, um, that 62.78 level is my 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 you know breakout level that I'm gonna be waiting for. Uh, life healthcare. The the healthcare industry is another industry that's starting to 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 look quite uh, quite decent at the minute. Um, you know, healthcare, uh, life healthcare is looking quite good. Mediclinic also looking quite good. Um, I, I think maybe uh, we we nearing the end of the COVID. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, I'm not jinxing it. Uh, but uh, so I was waiting for close through. Uh, that above that candle there, close above that, which we did get today, but only by a smidgen. So I'm gonna raise my stop to that uh, two twenty three eighty level, but uh, because we we that the breakout was, uh, it was by small margins, man. I think it was about uh, about six cents. So it break broke out about six cents, um, which for this stock is 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 not is not too horribly bad. So as and as a result, so I'm gonna give the the the, the stop loss a bit more room. Um, I, w I was going to put around twenty three eighty six, but maybe around twenty three seventy, um, is a much better position to place a stop. And again, I will add to the position. Momentum, ah, it's still, ah, it's still going nowhere slowly, man. Holding that. It's still a tug of war between buyers and sellers around that 200 day exponential moving average. And I don't think it's going to do anything special below that 20 and 80, 20 and 40 levels. Um, so I'm just going to wait for, 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 for the breakthrough that 20, it's particularly the, the 28, the 2084 level. Um, but uh, otherwise, nothing special is happening on momentum. MTN Group uh, also looking quite good. Uh, um, completed a, a correction, 10% correction here um, around that 50 day exponential moving average. So I'm waiting for close to do that uh, 133, at which point I'll first raise my stop to uh, 118.20. And then once we break through that 139 level, I'll raise my stop to either 122 or just below that traffic there. Um, and and I think once we get above that one 139, 140 level, 148 level, um, yeah, we'll see the stock really now starts to run and you know approaching new highs there, um, on M on MTN. Net bank, as I said, banks are looking quite decent. Are looking fairly fairly decent. Um, there was a bit of correction happening on Net Bank. Um, so at the moment on the wrong side of that 50 day exponential moving average also came quite close to stopping me out. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm waiting for a close through that 188 level. Once you get a close above that 188 level, um, I'll start to, to, to add again to that position. So one delay is asking on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, Wandil is asking, uh, is saying APSA was meant to be the turnaround stock, but uh, if you look at Investec year to date, um, uh, what is the reason behind this occurrence? I have no idea. Uh, to be quite honest, I have no idea, uh, uh, um, you know, why why these these, uh, these stocks are moving the way they, they are. Um, so as, as, as a trader, what I'm looking at is just price action and 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 just to 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 look for 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 uh, repeatable or repeating patterns that i can take advantage of 
and I don't I don't uh, take a deep dive into into um, the fundamentals of, of 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 these different businesses. So to be quite honest, Wanila, I have no idea why uh, um, NetBank uh, rather Investec is is moving the way it is. Netcare also health stocks are moving quite uh, moving quite well, moving quite well. Came close to to to, to a breakout there. Um, but I'm waiting for close through that perhaps let's just move that there. Uh, it's been touched a few a few times. Um, so yeah, the close through 19, 1720, I'll then add to uh, raise my stop and add to my position. At, my, at the moment, my stop loss is around. So I did add when we break out, when it broke out there and raise my stop to around the 50 day exponential moving average. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Moving quite, uh, moving quite uh, decent. Old mutual, uh, old mutual consolidating at the moment, uh, making a higher low, which is uh, uh, you know quite good. Um, so if you can break through that 1625, 16, yeah, 1625 level, I'll add to my position and raise my stop to around that 1480, 1450 level. Uh, and I think the 50 day exponential moving average would have also um, caught up with me as well. Um, yeah. Old mutual looking looking fairly fairly decent. So L Rich is asking, um, so you will get into a trade if the opening price is lower than the prior day's closing. Yes. So um, how 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 uh, 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 how I I work with with my position and and how I trade is once I make a decision on the prior evening, so I go through. All I go, every evening I go through all these stocks. I think there's about sixty, seventy of them. And I, I, once I make a decision that evening, irrespective of, of where the price is, when 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 w uh, at the open, I just buy. If 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 it opens lower, I just buy. Well, lucky for me um, uh, that I'm I'm getting a, a stock a little bit cheaper. And if it gets higher, also I I I, I just buy. And lucky for me in that case, um, as 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 I'll suffer a little bit of slippage. But if it gets uh, by by you know by significant uh, um, if it if it gaps significantly or gaps quite sharply I would reduce my 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 my, my position size and keep my stop where initially you know uh, where I initially planned to to put my stop um, and, and 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 just reduce my position size but um once I once I I I I, I, I make the order I place the order as is I don't. Um, I did. I did. However, ponder. You know the idea of uh, if 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 the stock gaps lower, just place it um, a limit order and let the market take me in as it goes back into into yesterday's close, uh, prior day's close. <sighs> but uh, I haven't. I haven't seen many instances where, uh, um, or enough instances where uh, uh, um, you know it 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 will make too much of a difference on e on on, e on either direction. So Paul is asking, what do you mean by gapping with regards to stop loss? Last week you talked about uh, ah okay. So the in the market there isn't a rule that uh, um, that says the the, the 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 stock must open where it closed on the prior days. It can open anyway. It, it it so the 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 stock can close at say ten rand and open at ten rand twenty. Um, for example, here. Uh, the chart that we're looking at on 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 Remgrow, the the prior day here, this day closed here around. It closed at one twenty one eighty five, but opened the next day with a gap higher at one twenty seven twenty nine, from that one twenty one. So it it gapped a whole seven rand. Um, um, so there was a seven rand that you know seven rand prices that were not uh, that were not traded, and sometimes that happens uh, adversely against you, as you mentioned with Pepco. Let me just quickly go back to Pepco. Um, so as you, you would note here, the, the the stock kept. So the stock closed at. 
close the prior day at 21, 21 rand 72 uh, and you would see that uh, the, the the closing prices here once we have that cross uh, um, thing here uh, at 21.72 and open the next day at 19 uh, 19 40. so there was about what two odd rand without any any trades being registered between those two prices and that's just how the market does so what happened with pepco um i did find out subsequent um, what happened with pepco um steinhoff dropped uh, um, was selling selling um they they position in in in, in pepco uh, uh, uh on a discount so that's why the 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 uh, so steinhoff just wanted to get rid of the the share so they went uh, and took all uh, um you know just uh, saw their shares at a discount and yeah that's why the gap happened so fortune is asking what's what will be the difference between holding and selling in terms of tax purposes um so with the uh, um South African, in fact, uh, Fortune, can I park that question to, 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 to the end? Um, let's just get through all the charts that, um, uh, you know, all, all my open position. I'll park that question to the end. I won't forget it. Rand mentioned also just, uh, you know, gapped higher. You see how significantly that gap was um, on, 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 on Rand mentioned and also gapped again the next the very next day and I just entered the position as is but reduced my position size and kept my stop where it initially would have been. So once once I make the order, I place the order regardless of where the market opens in the morning because I can't really control um, uh, 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 how, how, you know, where the market opens. Sanlam, uh, Forming a nice ascending triangle pattern. Excuse me. Forming a nice ascending triangle pattern. Uh, bouncing off that 50 day exponential moving average. And I think um, that venture with, with uh, MTN, will, if, if, if it starts to bear fruit, um, we'll see the stock starts to, 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 really, to really run. Maybe we'll have a trading update around, around that venture, um, around that fintech venture with MTN. But I'm waiting for a close at six on, uh, above that 64 and 90 at which point I'll add it to my position and raise my stop to just below that 200 day exponential moving average around around 59 rand and some change. ShopRite is one that I got stopped out on. I got stopped by that candle there, um, which was, you know, unfortunately one of those where you get stopped and the market just goes back into, into your direction. Um, I got stopped at a fair decent, uh, fair bit of profit, around six odd percent on um, uh, on ShopRite, but it rebroke back into into a higher box. And you know, as my philosophy, I'll just if a stock breaks back higher, I just jump back in, which is why it doesn't. It never stresses me when when I get a stop, when I get stopped out, and the market runs back in my direction, because I know that I'll just I'll, I'll just go uh, jump back higher. Uh, I'll just jump back in rather. Standard Bank, also looking quite good. I uh, came back uh, um, after after the ex-dev, uh, but holding that 50-day exponential moving average. I didn't move my stop um, on, on Standard Bank around ex-dev because it was already a fair bit of distance away, far much more than what the, the, the company was paying in dividends. So I was comfortable in keeping my stop where it was. Um, so I'm just waiting for a close back above that 148. If we close through 148 and 152, um, you know, I'll be adding my, to my position on both levels, but above that 148 level, I'll add my, to my position and raise my stop to around that 133 ish level. Telcom also woke up uh, and just, yeah. So I thought, I thought that uh, the trend line was violated. It came back, tested it, and held um, that 200 day exponential moving average. I thought it was just going to collapse um uh, and come back to around that 21 rand level but then they came up with a trading update that they want to list uh, to unbundle the the the, the towers business and list it uh, separately separately to unlock value for for shareholders and then market just really loved that news um so yeah i was waiting f I, mean, I was going to wait for a close above that 44 rand level 
um, to add to my position. And we did get it today without any much further price action happening. So I won't be adding to my position just as yet, uh, but rather, I'd rather wait for a close above that 46 Rand level, um, at which point I'll add to my position. And uh, yeah, my man, what are you doing? Yeah, so close above that candle there, or perhaps there. Ah, no, I like this one much better. That 46 Rand, uh, 46 Rand 40 level, um, I'll add to my position and raise my stop to just below this doji here um yeah so but for now i'm just you know that that candle was big giant move so i do expect the stock to come back to test that support level um but if it if it does come back to test that support level and re-breaks back above that 44 rand level so and does something similar to let me just delete that so the stock is most likely you know because of this doji candle here uh it's likely to 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 uh do something like this come back and test that support and break back higher through that um uh, uh, uh 46 rand f uh, uh uh that 46 rand level and ultimately if it can close through that 48 rand uh i'll be i'll be a happy person i think but it will bounce around between those levels between now and noon Truxenshit Capital, um, it broke out to the high box, came back, held that 50-day exponential moving average and we broke back again uh, um, with a giant candle today. So I'm just waiting for it close through that one, that 41 rand level, at which point I'll add to my position and raise my stop accordingly behind me. I'm liking, I'm liking Truxenshit Capital quite a bit. And when it comes to close position, it is... It is my my uh, my biggest winning position uh, uh, when 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 we're talking about close position. Vodacom, I'll be adding to my position on Vodacom and raise my stop to that one thirty five level um, as it broke through that forty one forty four level, and again I'll add again above one forty eight and again above one fifty six. Um, and if you're wondering where I'm getting these levels, they're not coming from thin air um it's it's levels that the market remembered and held as resistance uh, much much earlier and i go with the theory that markets have memory uh, um, and they usually just remember the prices uh where um you know they held as support or either either as support or resistance and last but not least is pepco pepco uh no, not Pepco, man. Sorry, Woolies. Uh, Woolies uh, came back to test that 50-day exponential moving average and held it quite well. Um, so I'm going to wait for it close through that 53 Rand, 53, uh, and raise my stop to around that uh, 58 Rand and add to my position. I'm liking how uh, um, uh, I'm at uh, Woolies is moving at the minute. And uh, once it closed back, uh, close above that 68 Rand, 60 again, I'll also add to my position and raise my stop behind me. So some stocks that I picked up um, earlier before we got on uh, and I'm not in is Foshimi. So I'm, I'm going to be entering on Foshimi, uh, you know, at the open tomorrow with a stop loss here at 130, um, 130.70. Uh, um, and again, I'll add to my position above that 150. This 50 day exponential moving average does worry me ever so slightly, but I think what what would what would happen here is something of that sort will come and test that 50 day exponential moving average um come back but that 136 could will will probably hold and it's just a bit weird and then we'll see something of that sort But once the stock gets above that 163 level, uh, it's all systems go um, on, on Foshimi. And let me see, Mr. Price. Mr. I also wrote an, an interesting piece on, on the Village Trader website on, on, on uh, Mr. Price looking at the full analysis on 
um, on Mr. Price. But um, if you can see here, that that support level held quite well, um, plenty plenty of times. It did get violated recently, but it got. Uh, let me bring back a stochastic. So you'd note here, uh, as the stock was approaching that 50-day exponential moving average, um, the oscillator was on the overbought levels, was making, as the stock was making lower lows, the oscillator was making high, high signaling a turn. So what you, what you normally see is that the oscillator follows the price. When the price goes higher, oscillator follows suit. And when the price falls, an oscillator follows. follows. When they diverge, um, it typically means that the momentum driving the price to driving the price lower in the case of a bullish divergence is slowing down. And just like in a car, when you're approaching a stop sign, you slow down your car before you turn, right? And when 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 a stock is slowing down and starting to hit the brakes, um, there's one of two things that will happen. It'll either it'll take a break and continue to fall, or it'll stop and turn. So, um, that but there's a good chance that you know as it's stopping, it's 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 uh, you know the more it slows down, um, it's it, 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 it you know it, it'll change direction. And with prices, when it changes directions, it goes the opposite way because there's only two ways prices will go: either up or down. So yeah, that's kind of the analogy of, of how to kind of think about this bullish divergences. And well, similarly, uh, in case of a bearish divergence, you'll see the price making a higher high, but the oscillator making a lower low, signaling around that oversold, uh, uh, oversold area, signaling that um, you know the price, the, the the momentum that drove the price higher is starting to 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 slow down. So I will be um, building this position up again. Um, on 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 Mr. Price with the initial stop around that 196, um, around that 196 level, and I ultimately be waiting for for that close through that two 237 level. At which point I think we we will really start to see the 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 the, um, the, um, the stock run. And I think fundamentally the the company is quite a strong company, and the acquisitions with um, uh, uh, Power Fashion they came up with a trading update that the the, the earnings. Uh, retail sales were up, I think, 48% with 10% uh, coming from Yepi Chef and uh, Fashion Group, um, uh, Power Fashion. So those acquisitions proving to be quite profitable, quite profitable acquisitions for, 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 um, uh, for the company. So coming back to, to, to Fortune, um, so South African tax law says if you hold a, a, a stock for longer than three years, that you, you'll be taxed with uh, um, dividend that's uh, uh, rather um, capital gains tax, but if you held if you held the stock for trading purposes less than three years, um, if you held the stock for less than three years, SARS um, sees that as a trade, at which point uh, you get taxed as uh, at your marginal tax rate. So whatever profit or loss you accrued will be added or subtracted to your uh, um, your, uh, your taxable income and taxed at your marginal tax rate. That's kind of how. Um, uh, the South African tax law works, but in terms of how the when uh, um, if they mark to market the uh, your positions or they wait for you to close or all that sort of thing, uh, I'm not hundred percent sure. But uh, last time I chatted with the tax expert, they are only looking at closed position, open position are still open for um, for a little bit of debate. Um, ladies and gents, I'm not seeing further more questions. If you do have any more questions, feel free to pop them up before we close off today's sessions. Otherwise, the video will be up in a couple of hours, uh, probably in an hour or so, uh, on YouTube, on the Village Trader YouTube channel. Do subscribe on the channel, uh, like the video, share the video with, with other people, and feel free to... to um, to drop me an email during the week if you have questions, jabule at villagetrader.co.za or follow me uh, on Twitter at villagetrader.za. And Rich is asking Forex and of yeah, that's coming. That's coming along quite well. I've just been busy with with uh, uh, a couple of stuff, been moving house and that and that sort of thing. But um, 
Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start trading FX and, and some offshore indices relatively soon with um, Xness, the sponsor of, of, of my podcast. And there's a couple of things that we're still discussing around. So I want to do a, 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 a trade for a good cause initiative where I'll be trading. Uh, I'll put up $250 of my own money and um, uh, hopefully the broker will match me. And uh, proceeds, f- profits from from um, from that account, so I'll, I'll j- just donate it to uh charitable co- char- charitable cause of my choosing uh ladies and gents thank you very much for joining me this evening um it's been great have a great evening um remember to trade well trade with discipline manage your risk quite well do check out the podcast i do apologize um escom got in the way of the past couple of weeks um but the podcast is up i was asking i was interviewing michael Hroblam. we had a quite a decent chat there we had a we had an amazing chat um do check it out what an interesting conversation we had there um otherwise uh, guys thank you very much we'll let's do this again next week cheers